Hi, this is the Science Chef. In this video, I'll teach you how to identify the four quantum numbers of an electron or valence electron in an atom. To know how to identify the quantum numbers of electrons in an atom, you would have to watch this video to the end. Let's consider the following atoms and ions. Before you go ahead to determine the quantum numbers of the valence electrons of these atoms and ions, let's quickly do a recap on the quantum numbers. There are four quantum numbers. The principal quantum number represented as N, the subsidiary or azimuthal quantum number represented as L, the magnetic quantum number represented as M sub L, and the spin quantum number represented as M sub S. The principal quantum number N divides the atom into shells. Or energy levels and has integral value starting from 0 to 1, 2, and so on. While the azimuthal quantum number L divides the shells into subshells, into subshells, and its values depend on the values of n, which start from 0 and ends at n minus 1 and when L is 0 we are talking about the S subshell when L is 1 we talk about the P subshell when L is 2 talking about the D subshell and when L is 3 talking about the F subshell this sounds familiar right the SPDF yes the magnetic quantum number M sub L divides the subshells into orbitals and its values depend on the values of L which range from minus L through 0 to plus L which means that when L is 0 so when L is 0 M sub L is also 0 that's only one orbital when L is 1 M sub L will be minus 1 0 and plus 1 that's 3 orbitals when L is 2 M sub L will be minus 2 minus 1 0 plus 1 plus 2 the 5 orbitals in the D subshell and when L is 3 M sub L range from minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 plus 1 plus 2 and plus 3 there are seven orbitals in the F subshell. The spin quantum number M sub S shows how the electrons will be positioned in the orbital and has only two values plus half and minus half. Its values do not depend on the other quantum numbers. So now that we have an idea of what the quantum numbers are, let's now determine the valence electrons in the given ions and atoms. Oxygen has electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. Our focus shall be on the 2p electrons, since that is where the last electron in oxygen is. Remember that the p subshell has three orbitals, so we are going to draw three orbitals. To represent the p orbitals namely px py and pz with the magnetic quantum numbers minus one zero and plus one so if we fill these electrons according to Horn's rule one two three and four you'll observe that the last electron occupies the px orbital which has a magnetic quantum number minus one so the four quantum numbers of this electron will be n equals to 2, which is the second shell, L equals to 1, which is the P subshell, M sub L equals to minus 1, which is the Px orbital, and M sub S equals to minus half, which 
is the downward spin. For sodium, the trigger ratio of sodium is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, and 3s1. We are focusing on the last orbital, that's the 3s orbital. In the s subshell, there's only one orbital with the magnetic quantum number zero. And since there's only one electron there, it means we have that. So the four quantum numbers for the last electron in sodium will be n equals to three, which is the third shell. L will be equal to zero, which is the s subshell. M sub L will be equal to zero, which is the s orbital and m sub s be equal to plus half which represents the upward spin so for the iron atom being a transition metal it has the electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s2 and 3d6 our focus here is on the 3d electrons remember the d subshell has five orbitals represented thus with the following magnetic quantum numbers minus two minus one zero plus one and plus two so if you have to fill these electrons according to Hans rule since these are degenerate orbitals I have one two three four five and the last electron will go into the first orbital with a magnetic quantum number of minus two therefore the four quantum numbers of the last electron in ion atom are n which is three that's the third shell this l which is two that's the d subshell m sub l which is minus two and then m sub s which is minus half which is the downward spin so now that we are done with the atoms let's look at the ions for chloride ion chloride ion has 18 electrons with the configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 and 3p6 right so since we're only interested in the last electron which is in the 3p orbital so we're going to draw the orbital diagram for the 3p orbitals so since there are six electrons we are going to fill them accordingly one two three four five six the magnetic quantum number of these orbitals are minus one zero and plus one therefore the four quantum numbers of the last electron in the chloride ion will be n is three which is the third shell l is one which is the p subshell m sub l is plus one which is the pz orbital this is px this is py and then m sub s is minus half which is the downward spin in the chromium 3 ion three electrons are lost so the chromium 3 ion has 21 electrons with electron configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 and 3d3 you may need to watch our tutorial on electronic configuration and transition metals to know how to write electronic configuration of transition metal atoms and their ions. So since our focus is on these 3D orbitals, we are going to draw the five orbitals and fill them accordingly, according to Hans rule. The magnetic quantum numbers of these orbitals are minus two, minus one, zero, plus one and plus two so in filling these electrons 
there are only three electrons left in the 3d orbital so you have one two three so the last electron is in the third 3d orbital therefore the four quantum numbers of the last electron in the chromium 3 ion will be n v3 as usual since a member of the first transition series l is 2 which is the d subshell m sub l is 0 while m sub s is plus half which is the upward spin to learn about the four quantum numbers in details and the rules guiding the filling of electrons into orbitals, click the link showing on the top right corner of your screen. If you are able to learn anything from this video, drop a comment, give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Always turn on your notification bell to stay updated with new uploads. A wise man once said, the biggest room is the room for improvement, so keep working on yourself till I see you when I'll see you.